What's going on guys, Teen Mechanic here. You've got me mid frustration here trying to figure out this stupid airbag light on the Mazda. So I decided to pick up the camera and start filming because uh, I'm actually kind of getting a little further into this as I go. Um, this I already had taken apart. All I did was take the plastics off of here uh, just so I could replace what I thought was the light bulb in the uh, uh, PAD uh, light there. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the airbag light is still on. Uh, so I looked, I read the code a little closer there and it has, uh, it's, the, it's the wiring short to ground somewhere. So what uh, the uh, diagnosis tells you to do is to t is to disconnect every airbag in the thing and then take this uh, unplug this module and inspect the wiring. I decided not to unplug all the airbag. Obviously, the battery is disconnected, but I, I've it's been disconnected for like ten minutes now. But I decided not to disconnect all these bat all these airbags and just leave this alone. But look at the wires. Um, now here's the PAD light, and it comes out around. I've already followed some of this wiring here. Um, and it looks like it's going to come through this wiring harness and uh, go right into this module here. Uh, so, <laughs> basically the thing says that if the wiring is normal and looks as it should, that this guy's got to be replaced. Uh, if that's the case, that's a super annoying thing because that's really expensive and... Uh, I don't want to wait for shipping, but I might have to, so... Anyway, um, yeah, so here's the airbag module. Uh, let's, uh, let's just inspect this wiring harness here. So, we, these are the green and orange and red and black wires that come out along through this wiring harness, and you can actually see what appears to be them that go into this connector. That would make no sense. So, I'm going to go ahead and scratch that and just say that it goes through here um let's i'm curious to see if i can actually see yeah there's the there's the uh there they are right there that's one of them actually you can see the orange and green one um and yeah i'm sure the other one's in there somewhere so let's pull this let's look at this wiring here okay this actually feels like it goes way up here. Um, let me let me pull that little thing out. All right, so this stupid little clip is out. Now this wiring harness looks to go all the way the hell up here. Now the reason I'm doing this and not all of the other diagnosis uh, items is because it says that it says to turn the key to the on position. Does the light illuminate? Yes? Okay, move to step two. No, do all this crap. So, um, it tells you to inspect the wiring. Um, so what I'm gonna do, let me see here. Um, God, you can see another red and uh, black wire right there too, and it goes right to this connector here. That doesn't make any sense now, does it? So, this is where the light wire comes in and it goes out to here. This doesn't make any sense. Why would it go all the way to hell up here? Like, why would it do that? And then it goes all the way up to that main connector up there. Oh boy. Look at that. Miles of wiring. Okay, so we're not going to have an issue up there, obviously. Um... I could take all this crap out again. I'd really rather not, but I think I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to take all this radio crap out. And if you're wondering why I have this scaffolding, we the scaffolding uh, wheels here are because they're super heavy. So I put them on the seat to see if, uh, see if I could get uh, the airbag light to trip, but no. Uh, okay. So let's, uh, let's get this guy out. Okay, so this panel will pop up like this, and that makes life a lot easier, because then you can just do that, that comes right up like that, and then there's the hazard switch, I'm just going to disconnect it just to make life even a little easier than that. Nope, that doesn't make life any easier. <laughs> oh, I did that again. Okay, um, okay, this wiring goes up all the way the hell up here. And ah, there it is, right there. I'm touching it. You can see my finger. So that 
Holy crap. Oh. No. <laughs> no, it goes somewhere else. Okay, um. Man. Where does that go to? Oh, this comes off, right? Um. Somewhere else. Okay, okay, so. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay, so what I've just done is I called the, uh, oh boy, this tire's like flat. Uh, I called the, um, uh, parts store, uh, just to see if they'd have an airbag module, because I think that's what's wrong. Um, personally, I don't know, we'll see, I mean, um, but I called, I called them, and they said, you know, that they, of course, as usual, don't have any safety components, and that's fine. So I decided to call Mazda just to see what their price would be. $682 from Vancouver. Uh, so that's, that's not happening. Um, so what I would, what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to go to the junkyard. I'm going to grab an SAS module, an exact same one from the same year, same sort of uh, same exact airbag setup with the curtain airbags and everything uh, that this one has. Um, and then I'm going to try that. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to make sure I have a picture of this one, picture of the connector, um, and make sure that it's exactly the same. And then I'm going to hope that uh, I can plug that in and then that will make the lights all work properly and the airbag light go away. But let me show you something. Check this out. Holy crud. Like, there's the console in the back seat, there's the stick shifter, and oh my god, just gaping hole in the dash, this is crazy, guys, oh my god, okay. By the way, um, I meant to be out filming, um, little PSA here, I actually ended up testing positive for COVID-19, uh, COVID I got really sick on Sunday, and I actually recorded a video and I was gonna put it out, but I decided not to, um, that was before I knew I tested positive, but I was sick, I actually tested negative on a rapid test, but then I tested positive twice on a rapid test, like, several days later, um, I feel like I'm 99% better, I've still got a little bit of a runny, runny nose at tons and congestion, and kind of sneezing. Oh boy, here it comes. <coughs> yeah. So I feel like I'm like 99% better, but I've got I've got a little bit left, so I'm staying in until I either test negative or I'm 100% better. It's been over five days, but I just want to make double sure. Uh, but anyway, um, I felt fine. I, it knocked me out for Sunday, and then Monday I was walking around and doing things, and then Tuesday I was like, good. But, uh, yeah, and when I say Sunday, I don't mean today. I mean, that was seven days ago now. Holy cow. But, um, yeah, so that is why I've been kind of really low on the production, <laughs> you know. But that's just one reason. Of course, it's mostly an excuse, but hey. Um, so the clutch is uh, the clutch master cylinder is supposed to come today in the mail, so we'll probably install that in this video. Uh, but for now, i got to go inside and... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably go to the junkyard and one other thing I need. Take a look at this right here. I noticed this while I was cleaning. This uh, seat belt here is ripped, so that's no good. So I gotta get a new seat belt for that guy. And uh, what else? Oh, the driver's uh, window switch is really sticky. So I got it. Well, not sticky, but like you know, it, you have to pull it up like. 12 times just to get it to, to go up so uh that's gonna be a switch and i'll get that um an airbag module a seat belt and i think that's it uh and and then i'm gonna clean up these headlights because yeah those are ugly ugly and i gotta give this thing a wash um but yeah so honestly this thing is uh is turning out to be pretty good uh yeah for now uh, i'm gonna go inside but it'll be a split second for you let's uh what was that what did i say we were gonna do Oh yeah, the clutch. All right, so here we are, and we're back uh, where we started. Everything is back apart. Uh, so now I have to figure out how to get this master cylinder out, because I looked at... I don't know where I even put it now. Oh, here it is. I looked at the uh, new master cylinder, and it's kind of a weird setup, and I'm not exactly sure how it, well, will come out. Go in should be easy, but coming out should be or well well it looks like it's kind of difficult so let's see and here it is so you can see how it looks like it just easily snaps right into the firewall i'm just gonna see if it like twists and comes out or if you have to like try and find a way to compress these tabs on the old one so let's uh let's see if we can get these lines disconnected first and uh let's see here because 
Looking down here. Yeah, okay, so there's just a bracket we gotta get out of the way. And lots of these lines. Um, geez, I hate these things so much. These stupid plastic connection fittings. Okay, um, yeah, so this shouldn't be too bad. I see, I see this thing. Probably supposed to either push. Yep, that's how it works right there. Okay, uh, and yeah, okay, so I'm gonna... I don't know, I'm just let, let, I'm just going to go at this. Okay, I know this is kind of a terrible view, but uh, there isn't much else I can do and still film, so looking like i got to get this thing off here. So let's see if that comes off. Oh yeah, there it goes, there it goes. Absolutely everywhere. Uh, how would I possibly, okay, I'm going to need to figure something out there, oh boy, I'm going to get this bottle, and I'm going to see if I can drain the brake fluid from the master into it, and see if I can work some, like, magic, this thing has super absolute ninja powers, and isn't, Able to come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's try that. Let me see if I can. I can't. Just, and there we go. And I'm actually catching it. All right, so the brake fluid is drained. That was a really annoying thing, but it's drained now. Um, actually, there's still going to be fluid that I'm going to need to catch. So let me, uh, let me try and do that. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so that's nice. Now I have to get this clutch line off that's also covered in brake fluid. So the fluid feed line is good. Now I just need to get, I need to find a way to get that clutch line off. So this, this is the setup with the new one here. You can see this little, ah, I see how it works. Okay. So I need to see, and it's on the bottom, of course it is. So, okay. I'm going to see if I can get that uh, little thing off of there. Let's uh, give it a shot. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can push it down from the top. Not really. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> okay, that was... That just happened. All right. So I need to figure out exactly how this line goes in because I don't think it just pulls out. And I certainly don't want to be responsible for ruining this brand new clutch thing. So let's pull this little thing out and take a look at this. Okay, so the line does just come out. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pull it. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Just totally, just, yeah, just comes up. Okay, um, now I'm pretty sure. So now I have to figure out how to get the damn thing out itself. Alright, so let's climb in under this, or in the car here, and it's still a mess. Um, up here. Oh, I see, so it does just twist and turn out, um, like that. Um, but first I need to figure out how the, uh, Clutch pedal comes out. Let me look at this here. Uh, clutch pedal just has what? Some kind of plastic retainer or something? Um, I honestly don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah, you just push that in. Okay. All right. So excuse any sort of bad angles, but what I'm going to do is push this white plastic thing in. And I think it might have to happen on either side, but that's okay. So if I push that in, I'm gonna have to do this off camera guys, sorry. Oh guys, that was tough. 
Here's the new one. I, I just destroyed the old one. I just decided that I was totally done with it. Oh my god. That was awful because you know what? There's a bolt buried in the dash. Way the hell. See that red stud in the middle of your screen? Yeah. So it doesn't look like it's that buried, but you can't get any ratchets up there or anything. Uh, now you can see right through the, the engine. But anyway, um, you know, I'm going to change. You know, for those of you who know me, or I've maybe have said it, I don't know. Um, I've always said my least favorite place to be is under a car. You know, under a car on jack stands. I just hate it. Uh, it's creepy under there because it could fall on you. Uh, I just, I don't like it. But you know what? My new and... <laughs> You know, I, I knew how much I hated it before. Being in a footwell, you have to bend your back over this damn sill plate. You have to lay on all your tools. And, oh my god, it is so freaking frustrating. Anyway, uh, that's my rant. Now, let's go ahead and get this new guy in here. Um, it's still hung up on something. Oh, it's hung up on that very stud, actually. Um, let me see if I can move this. There we go. Yeah, so we can get the new one in right through that window there. Uh, let's actually try that right now. Um, let's see which way does it go. It goes this way. So, let's, uh, this, I'm going to have to do this probably off camera. Oh, actually, let's see here. Might, might be able to get away with it. Oh, come on now, you... Hang on, guys. Yeah, guys, I have to do this off camera. Sorry again. All right, guys, I'm sorry to do this to you, but uh, I did quite a bit without you, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but I kind of forgot what I was doing there for a minute. I got kind of lost in frustration and a whole lot of stuff. Uh, it's quite a bit later now, um, and I took a trip to the junkyard, actually. Uh, let me show you what I've done. So the clutch master cylinder is in now and reconnected. Um, now... That may not seem like a giant jump, but God, guys, that was so painful. That was terrible. Like, holy crap. I, okay, let me just... Okay, well, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, that was so freaking difficult. Yeah, I'm jamming my hands in the dash. That was one of the most agonizing, awful things I've ever done in a footwell or... Even not, maybe not even on a car, but all that, like, pulling an engine is easier, because at least you, you're working on a big thing, right? In this, it's just, oh, cutting your hands up, that was so bad, but either way, enough complaining, I got the master cylinder, everything all hooked in, these quick disconnect fittings are all hooked in and stuff, oh, you can't see, are all, uh, hooked in and stuff, so that's good, um, now I need my dad to help me bleed it, um, also, I took a trip to the junkyard and got... A new seat belt. If you remember, this seat belt back here was all cut up. This one is now in nice shape. And when I say it was all cut up, it was cut up in one spot. Cut in one spot. Let me show you. If you look at this old seat belt here, here you see that right there was slit. And that is not safe. Uh, I'm not going to sell a car knowing that it has a slit seat belt. I just, like, this, of all things, is one thing I just really wanted to replace. So I did. I replaced it. Uh, it was cheap. Um, now, another thing that I did is, I already installed it, is uh, the airbag module. So, oh yeah, the console. <laughs> right, hang on. All right, so if you look right here, you see the new airbag module is a different number, and uh, it actually says on this label something about having vehicle specific information that's a little concerning <laughs> but you know we'll see what happens when i connect the battery um and I, I just i just i hope that works i hope that solves the problem um the uh, there's a clutch sensor that's that i broke in the process so i gotta get a new one of those uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to put all this crap back together. Uh, I'm not going to put the console back in because I need to see if the airbag module fixed it. Uh, but yeah, and I, and this is it's brake fluid. So I gotta, I gotta clean all that out. Uh, so I don't, uh, 
don't erode away all the rubbers in there. But, uh, okay, so first things first, I'm going to disconnect this um, ECU again. And uh, I'm going to screw everything back together, button up all the pretties and plastics. Uh, and then we'll be done. So I'm going to do that off camera. You've seen me do it twice now. All right, guys, everything is put back together there. Uh, now I'm just going to double check everything in here and see what I might need to connect. Uh, it looks like nothing for now, so what I'm going to do is make sure I can see this light while I, when I go to start the car. And let's see if what happens if I push this clutch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, let me, yeah, okay, so let, let's connect the battery and see what, what happens. First, I'm going to, I'm going to raise that clutch back up like this, but first I need to make sure that sensor's pushed in. There we go. This right here is the sensor that's broken, by the way, guys. This here, you guys should let me know what that is. I'm not sure which one is the clutch safety switch. I'm not sure if it's that one in the middle of your screen or this blue and gray one. You guys will have to let me know which one's which so I know what to ask for at the parts store. All right. Let's connect it and see what happens with the airbags. I just hope nothing bad. Ready? Moment of truth, guys. See what happens when we connect it. Oh boy, I'm not sure why it's beeping. What do we have on here? Hazards are on. Yeah. Hazards were on. What else? I don't know. Okay. Let's uh connect it. Okay, it's beeping, and I don't know what at. What? What is it? What is happening here? I'm scared. What the hell? Alright guys, I don't know. I hope I didn't mess up some kind of computer somewhere because I really don't know what's beeping like that. Um, what the hell could it possibly be? What's that? Oh, that's OBD. Okay, what else? Airbag light. What, what does that beeping mean? Is it just that the radio is not connected? No, it can't be that. What would it be? What would it be? Oh, I'm going to put this console in the back seat. Back here. Because I don't need it right now. And I'll move this trim back there. Um, could it be... Does it think it's being stolen or something? Like, what? Here, let me... I just hope it doesn't mean... Oh, um, the airbags are about to go off. All right, guys, I reconnected some of the plastics in there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, the... the beeping has gone away. Not sure what that was all about. Now, I'm going to turn the key on from out here. I'm very leery of the airbags i don't think anything is gonna happen but just to be extra extra safe i'm gonna do it from out here oh. all right let's see here okay it's in the run position all right let's push the clutch are we in neutral? We are. Okay, ready guys? Oh, son of a gun. Okay, so you know what that means? The blue switch is the clutch safety switch, okay. All right, all right, okay, hang on. Let's try that. Yeah, that's weird. Um, yeah, it won't start for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Um, I believe I have everything situated, unless it's this guy right here. I think it probably <laughs> might be. Um, but yeah, she's connected, so 
I believe it's pretty much guaranteed to be this thing because pushing the clutch makes zero difference. All right, that's okay. Um, but it sure didn't look like the airbag light went out. So I'm going to very dangerously sit in front of this airbag. Let's see what happens. Um, all right, let's see if this airbag goes out. Airbag light did, and then it came back. Okay. Does the, uh, let's see if this airbag light turns on, or this, nope, nope, okay, so we got some other circuit issue then, and yep, airbag light's back, okay, alright guys, well you know what, I think I'm done for tonight, uh, I got a lot done today, I'm really, really impressed with that, um, in fact, I think I'm probably gonna just bleed the clutch and then leave it at that, cause I still need the new sensor, uh, and I also need to figure out what's going on with that stupid airbag module. So I think I'm going to leave it at that for this video. Um, not, a, not a satisfying ending. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, I do feel like I got a lot done. Um, I was hoping to have this car done-ish, ready for, you know, tonight or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, we'll see. I might have it ready for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I mean, I might be... I'm, I'll probably bleed the clutch tonight off camera. That's pretty simple uh, with my dad. Um, and he can push the pedal, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching very much. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike, but let me know in the comment section below how I can improve. Uh, share this video with someone who you think might find it useful or enjoyable. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you're interested to see what happens with this Mazda, I don't see myself making more than another, maybe one video on it too if i'm really really doing badly <laughs> like really if i can't get this thing sorted uh, but we'll see right now it doesn't even start and i'm 90 i'm pretty much positive it's because of that clutch safety switch um but yeah so anyway i'll see you guys very soon in the next video thanks again for watching Bye bye